So we're here at the San Francisco Bay Model, which is a U.S. Army Corps of Engineer facility right here down at the docks in Sausalito. This facility was built in the 1950s, late 1950s, as primarily a research tool, a physical scale model, um, uh, exact replication of the San Francisco Bay. And uh, the visitor center here opened in 1980. And um, the actual model itself ceased to be used as of 2000. George Sumner. The show opens November 16th. So a little uh, art exhibit. Look at, look at the great George Sumner's art exhibit is going on right here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Some of 50 paintings all the way up and down. Nobody looks at them all, though. <laughs> There's art, there's education, there's all kinds of exciting things happening here. There's all kinds of exciting things. So here's, the, this is the model, so exact replication, uh, exact replica, excuse me, of the San Francisco Bay. So this has been used for a long time, again, not, not since 2000, ceased to be used as a research tool in 2000. But up to that point, uh, really useful in terms of looking at erosion, dye tracer studies. So. Um, Delta region here. Delta region. That's right. Two acres. So sensors, um, water uh, flow tracers, all kinds of great stuff here over um, a total of about two acres, this building here. Pretty cool. So here in the San Francisco Bay model, this is a classic example of how we used to um, attempt to manage oil spills and model oil spills. So this is the San Francisco Bay model. This is a scale, uh, exact scale replication of the bay. And um, through a whole series of uh, physical things that we now mostly use computational approaches for, computer models for, we have everything from the Richmond Bay Bridge, there's uh, San Francisco over there, all this and that. So if we wanted to say look at the potential effects of an oil spill, uh, this was a really useful tool for about three decades um, from the late 50s to, um, uh, the, the, to 2000. And so what we could do is we can have this guy flooded, we can change salinity levels by messing with these little uh, copper strips that are sticking up here we could uh, uh, change the velocity of water, um, the, the roughness of the bottom, all kinds of uh, stuff like that. And we could say, for example, do a dollop of oil here in, uh, it, it, let's say, it, it one, of the, one of the facilities or one parts of the bay, and then uh, mimic the tides, mimic salinity, um, all this and that, and look at how quickly that oil spill would spread, let's say, to other areas, how much time, how much response time we would have uh, before it hit uh, say a marina or something of that nature. So really, really useful tool. It's, it's uh, by and large outlived its usefulness in terms of its cost effectiveness, but it's still a wonderful educational tool and um, is a great reminder of how far we've come in terms of modeling oil spills and coastal stressors and water quality issues uh, throughout California. So a key theme now of the, the visitor center here, the education center, is to, to discuss with people um, the complexities of water and managing water in a, in a complex coastal setting. So um, issues with wildlife, issues with urban use of water, all that stuff. Um, they have about 150,000 visitors a year now. Um, about a third or so are folks from outside the U.S. who are just in San Francisco doing, doing tours <clears throat> and things of that nature. But um, entrance is free, so anybody can come down here uh, whenever they're open, which is five days a week, and uh, check out this cool facility. Um, really, really neat. It's huge. It's massive. Uh, there's nobody in here today because it's open for us, but nobody else. Um, but normally, this is this, there'd be a good number of folks here out and about um, checking stuff out. Um, so when you are in Sausalito, it's a great place to come. What do you, Gabriel? What do you think about this uh, about this uh, bay model? It's very interesting. See, it's very interesting. <laughs> I don't believe them. <laughs> so, uh, really cool education facility, really neat stuff going on here at the San Francisco Bay Model, a really um, valuable education 
tool. There's a Golden Gate uh, Bridge out there. And there's a Golden Gate Bridge the uh, of the Army Corps of Engineers. And even though the active research isn't being done here in the model at, the, at this moment, um, this is still uh, headquarters for emergency response and other, um, other aspects of the Army Corps of Engineers activities here in this part of the San Francisco Bay.